Oh, where the heck is our caravan gone? Some bugger nicked it. Where's it gone? Where's our 586 gone? So as you can see, our Swift 586 2015 caravan has now completely gone and our pitch or area in the storage site is currently empty. We decided just before lockdown to part ways with our Swift 586 2015. We really, really like the caravan, but we always kind of thought about getting a twin axle something a bit bigger. And that's kind of what's on our radar at the moment. We can't quite decide. We probably are going to stick with a caravan. We don't think we're ready for a static. And I don't think a motorhome, even though they're quite nice, are within our kind of budget by quite a bit. If you have a few trains coming past, it's because we're next to the northeast main line and a few seagulls you can probably hear above me. So we're just going to have a quick chat about what our options are. Well, it's kind of one of those cross things always. It's do you kind of spend more money or do you spend less money? Well, we sold our caravan, actually the profit, we sold it for nearly £2,000 more than we paid for it, which is quite good. And the new one is kind of ecstatic to have it because it would be a lot cheaper to get it at the dealers. So we've done quite well at the COVID pandemic because the price of our caravan went up. Obviously, at the same time, that also means that the price of the caravan we want to buy has gone up. So it's a bit of a funny one about deciding what to do. We nearly bought a caravan from Dice Caravans. We might even go back to that one, which is a really, really good caravan. And really big thank you to Stuart there, who's really helped us out. We actually cancelled the order, basically because we couldn't quite decide whether we'd be able to get into Scotland. As you know, maybe Scotland is currently not letting people in from England. We're also on tier three as well. And it's, well, is it fair enough for people to go up there? Now, we wouldn't actually be meeting anybody bar obviously the dealer. That would be the only person we'd meet with a mask on and those sort of things. So you might say that might be reasonable, but at the moment it is currently illegal to do that. So we've decided at the moment not to do that. So we cancelled our order and that was with a Bailey Turin 2014. And the price of it was pretty reasonable, had all the things we wanted on it. And that was probably a good choice. Uh, if we could get there, we would have bought that, we would have bought that, picked it up in the next few weeks, maybe just for Christmas. But as it is, we can't get that at the moment. Um, now, because we did that deal, or the start of that deal, I also said to Lucy that we would go somewhere different in the summer next year. I can't say in case my children watch. And if the children are watching, I'm not going to tell you anyway. Um, so we can't quite decide what to do. We were thinking about maybe going a bit newer. The Turin was 2014. Uh, and one of the things that my wife didn't quite like, but she was going to live with, was the orangey wood. We actually found another 2014 Swift FB, but that is about five hours away. And again, it's that same thing about traveling when you possibly shouldn't do. Um, maybe we just wait, that's probably what we should do, but I'm always a bit impatient, so I'll be honest. And this video is very unedited, it's just kind of my thoughts as I'm walking along here at the storage yard, which is quite my normal place on a weekend to come and have a bit chill, maybe for an hour or so, maybe have a cup and sort of things out in the van. Can't do that anymore. So I don't know what to do. Um, maybe put comments below what you think we should do. We're not even that fussed about possibly getting a fixed bed, that was probably one of our big things, but actually thinking about it, our girls, or particularly the youngest one, Olivia, is still four and she still likes to wander around and often even comes out of bed at home. That's going to be the case still. So it's kind of thinking, well, what layout will we get that will work for us? Because we're a few things that we decided, maybe all probably twin axle. I don't think at the moment we'll get an eight foot, although I would quite like one, mainly because of the fact that we're in Northumberland, or a little bit far from Northumberland, but you get the idea. It can be quite tricky and some of the more narrow roads, so that's a, a, a maybe a no at the moment. But the other kind of thing um, about the eight foot is the price. So if I'm offering to take the girls somewhere really good next year, um, then I need to kind of keep that in mind about saving that money. I don't want to spend all my money and then kind of not be able to live up to what we said we would do. And uh, Lucy said that needs to happen. So she's a boss, we better do as we're told. Um, so that probably leaves us with a slightly older van and it's whether to get a Swift FB, a Swift EW, a Bailey Palermo would be also be a possible. It's 760 if you can find one, but at the moment you can't find them for love nor money. They're all possibles. I really like the Segovia as well, but you're still talking for 2018 at a dealership. You're still talking 21K, and that's going to be way, way out of our budget. Um, maybe we could go to some one of the manufacturers and maybe see if we could borrow something. I don't know if that's a, a possibility. Possibly not. Maybe that might tide us over for a little bit. But we were planning to go away in December this year, maybe go for Christmas. We're currently in Tier 3 until I think the 16th and then it's getting reviewed, but I suspect we might be in there for a bit longer because even though the numbers have gone down, they're probably gonna start creeping up again. So that's just a quick little update on our situation that our caravan is now gone. We are caravanless, even though we can't go away anyway. And we're just trying to decide what to do next. What's the, the plans and what, what should we buy? Should we spend more on our budget, spend less on our budget? 
but obviously the more we spend on the actual caravan which is great that kind of reduces the opportunities maybe or the adventures and go away because obviously that money's already tied up where a cheaper caravan would allow us to spend more money on adventures and experiences which if you don't know I actually quite like being minimalistic I'm not sure if you look at my house you'd see that and it's more in minimalism about the experiences over the things they have a kind of a really good saying which is to uh, love people and use things because of where around never works and I, I definitely agree with that so maybe comments below what do you think should we go for something newer should we go something about 2015 2016 i think if it was a swift it would have to be 2017 onwards when they got the grp out as that's one of the things on my list i'd also like to have a caravan which has the more posh blinds like the Turin had where it's blackout blinds because the other blinds are all right but they're never blackout so you get woken up really early in the morning when it's in the summertime or i do the light so as usual please remember to subscribe to our channel please leave a comment about below what you think you would do or what, what are you doing and um, please give this video a like